Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm sure you're all feeling as frustrated and sad and just fucking downbeat as I am. Um, the Premier League dream is over. Even the most optimistic of Leeds fans will agree with that. Um, spineless, pathetic cowards on our team. People blame the board. They have been shocking as well. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're the reason we're in this mess. But there are still 11 professional footballers out there today who look like they belonged on a Sunday league pitch. Like, I'm not even joking. Pathetic. They made West Ham, who, by the way, are nothing special, look like Real Madrid, Barcelona, whoever. They were pathetic. Scared. Timid. Afraid. All those years... We worked hard to get back to the Premier League. We, we we dreamed of it, didn't we? You know, all the shocking managers we had and owners and Ellen Road half empty. Like I was there in the League One days, um, home and away, travelling up from the South Coast and I could only dream of being in the Premier League and um, it's all over. It's, it's all over. Um, the whole club is is ill. It's It's... It needs putting down and restarting. Um the only good thing we've got is is us us fans. Um the owner is he won the lottery he won the lottery by with Bielsa. He got lucky. He got lucky, bought a ticket, he got lucky. Yeah, with Bielsa. And uh you know effectively he's won the lottery and pissed away the money. Because he's done nothing now. Anything any credit he had for getting us back has gone. I mean, it went a long time ago, but at least when we had our Premier League status, you know, he could always hold on to the fact he got us back there. Now, he's got nothing. Um, and I'm so depressed, a lot, honestly. This bit is, you know, this relegation battle's been on my mind, as that probably has yours, like day in, day out, replaying misses in my head, you know, checking other teams' results, fixtures. It's, it's horrible. And, um, and now it's over. Um, we're back into the Football League. Oh, God, I can't even believe it. Imagine when the fixture list comes out. But but the players today, and all season, have been a disgrace. All of them. All of them. Obviously, set from Nonto and a couple of others. I mean, Somerville looked like he busted a bollock today when you come on. Rob Les in goal. What do you do with that sorry ass defence in front of you? What a pathetic defence. Oh, come on, man. It's oh, my God. Like, they're a joke. Pudding face McKenney, probably one of the worst signings we've ever made. And you've got Rocker, who's been all right and who's got ability there somewhere, sitting on the bench, getting brought on with five, ten minutes to go. Um, Bamford's made of... Weetabix again, Ailing. Don't even get me started because I, I, I know people on here love Ailing, and the championship he'll probably be all right. But you know, see, some of you lost them. Um, that they had a bit of confusion with the pass. Who who was going to retain the ball? Ailing bit his head off. Yeah, twenty seconds later, passes it straight to West Ham player and just runs off. Oh well, never mind. Fucking pathetic. A lot of them. Excuse my language. I, do you know, I made a video half an hour after the game finished and there was just so much swearing in it. It was just embarrassing like for me, but I, I honestly could scream so loud. That they're an absolute joke. I'm so upset, yeah, with how this club has ended up back in a championship. We haven't even got a better squad. We haven't even got a better stadium. At least when you go up to the Premier League for a few years, you you, you know, you, you build this squad, right? And then when you go back down, you've got like such depth from the Premier League that, that, that you, you end up just bouncing up because you've got like a, a squad littered with talent, even at, even if it's not Premier League quality, it's very good championship quality, right? We're not. We're going to go back down, yeah? We're going to start the game, our first game of the season, best believe it, with ailing right back, Cooper centre back. Adam Forshaw centre mid and it's like we've just had been in a coma for three years and woke up and been like oh what's happened it's pathetic and honestly I'm so upset like me personally I, you know 
when when I when I when I was a young boy, I, I live on the, I live in Brighton, right? So I I I you know I just lived with my mum. I couldn't I couldn't go to games when we were in the Premier League. My first game was our first year in the Championship. I think I was twelve. We got the coach up, and then cut a long story short, I started going up with Hampshire Whites, home and away in the League One day, Championship days, Premier League, um, and it's it's all I ever dreamed of, and and the dream has come and gone in a flash. Thirty-five million pound striker, a record signing. Yeah, in January, January, four months ago, when we're in the middle of a relegation battle, we spend thirty-five million pound, and this geezer sitting in the stands every week, whilst we got Patrick Bamford up front. Absolute catastrophe, negligence, criminal activities by our board. Victor Orta, probably somewhere in Spain, sipping a sangria, not giving two shits, whilst us lot picking up. The pieces, yet again, Rad's probably piss off in the summer. Sorry, I don't mean to keep swearing. I, I hate swearing on videos. Rad's probably set up in summer, be long gone. Probably buy Sampdoria, whoever he's going to buy. Players probably move on. Who's left? Us. Us. Because we love the club. Those players out there today, absolutely pathetic. It's the, the most I've ever hated a Leeds team. All of them, I, I can't stand any of them. A couple, sorry, a couple I, I, I like. But as a whole, the defending is pathetic. You look at their goals, absolutely horrific defending. And we are, you know, player for player, you'd say we've meant to have a more talented squad than Bournemouth, right? Player for player. Look at us compared to Bournemouth. Just, just as an example, we're pathetic. They can't defend. They can't attack. They, they don't want the ball. They're afraid. They, they get the ball. They get rid of it like a hot potato. Aimless. You know, you can blame the tactics all you like, right? But you, they, they failed Bielsa. Jesse Marsh was a horrific coach, but they failed Marsh. They failed Big Sam. Last week against Newcastle, the two penalties we gave away, the penalty that we missed, today the goals we let in, the, they're failures, right? The board are failures, the owners are failure, the players are failures as well. They're all equally to blame. They've been horrific, horrific and they should be embarrassed with themselves. And I honestly hope, other than maybe Somerville, because Nonto's going to leave, any, other than Somerville, and I, I quite like Rob Les in goal, and Rodrigo as well, you could argue. The rest of them, I hope I never see them in a lead shirt again. I, I hope. Absolutely gutted. We, we've got nowhere. We, we, we're going down with a, a terrible squad. Ellen Road is on its arse. It's like it's just survived a, um, an air raid from the bloody Luftwaffe. It's a sorry old state, Ellen Road. We've done nothing. Are the 49ers are going to take us over? Apparently they still will. Hopefully they can save us. But but yeah. I can't believe we're, we're heading back down to the championship. And okay, I know we can beat Tottenham 3-0 and Everton can draw and we stay up on goal difference or we win and Everton lose. If that happens, that'd be a miracle, right? And I hope I'm proved wrong. But we all know we're not going to. That's the thing, like... Uh, you know, I went into this game and for some reason I just believed we was going to win. You know, a leggy West Ham who, who had a tough 90 minutes away from home in Europe on Thursday on the piss. Probably hanging out their arse on Friday. We've had a full week to prepare. So I think six or seven of those players who played in that game were playing tonight. They've had a, a day or two to repair. Probably still slightly hung over. I mean, I know when I, I get on the piss, it takes me two, three days to recover. And these are professional athletes, I know. And we lost to them 3-1. It's inexcusable. It's pathetic. And, uh, you know... I mean, I haven't watched anyone else's videos yet. Um, but I'm sure everyone's saying similar stuff, so it might be boring. But, yeah. I'm just... I'm just gutted. And I'm angry. And... 
I just I just can't believe it's all over and it, it's not just like all over we haven't gone up and you've just been unlucky and it just didn't quite work out we come ninth in our first season with three points off Europe and then since then our our wings were clipped and it's just been nosedive into the ground and we finally hit the ground come ninth first season um, first season and then second sin, season syndrome what a load of old tosh we come ninth you give Bielsa 150 million 200 million like you gave Marsh the next season we probably come ninth again by now, we're probably pushing for Europe. Ellen Road redeveloped. 49ers fully taken over. Leeds United were back on the, back on the map. Not anymore. All, it's all been undone. We're back where we were before lockdown. We're back where we were. And um, it's, it's just an absolute disaster. And the only people who are here to pick up the pieces is us guys. We'll still be there. I'll still be there. You'll still be there next season. Huddersfield away opening day. Can you imagine? We'll be there. Everyone else would have moved on and we're just left with club back in the championship. But, you know, we'll, we'll be there. In whatever division we're in, we know that. But it's besides the point, um, if, if, you know, <laughs> if there were laws against the way how to run a fabulous football club like Leeds United then our owners would be in jail and our players would join them because they've all been pathetic in their own in their own respective jobs they've been pathetic the defenders have literally defended like pigs yeah the attackers have attacked like whatever you know they've all been pathetic the owners have mismanaged pretty much the whole way through they were just lucky that we had Bielsa holding it all together since he's gone it's all unravelled. And, you know, it's, it's, again, I'm just repeating myself, yeah. The fact, right, that we spent our record signing on a player who hasn't played when the striker we got, Patrick Bamford, is an absolute shambolic striker at this level. The abuse he's been getting, I don't agree with. I'm not... I'm not going down that road I'm just saying he's absolutely useless and we've got a £35 million striker sitting on the bench doing nothing it's not his fault no one can blame right. I'm, I'm actually hoping next season and in the championship he will be our main striker maybe he can help take us up I don't know he's probably got a release clause you know these players they've all got a 50-60% release clause that, that's the only good thing that Rads has done but I don't want them I don't want to see them in a lead shirt again I'm disgusted with them I'm disgusted by the sight of them I'm sick of them or what we worked for, or what Bielsa built, has just been blown to smithereens. And um, I'm absolutely devastated. Yeah, guys, that's it for me. There's nothing left to say, really, is there? Um, hope you all have a good week and that it doesn't get you down too much. Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, like, commenting and subscribing. If you could, that'd be great. Sorry for the negativity, but you know, uh, you know, I'm not going to come in here doing cartwheels, am I? Um, it's all over, guys.